Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. And this is going to be what are their true intentions in love. Alright, yeah, let's see what we have for Sagittarius and their person. And I hope you guys are all well. Let's see what we have in light of, you know, all the BS. Hope, hopefully it's not affecting you or your family so much. Let's see what we got uh, for Sagittarius and their person. Let's see what we have. Show me that energy, please. And we have chaos and conflict. Somebody's in chaos and conflict, Sagittarius. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's your person, the thinker. Okay, and they can't stop thinking about it. No, they can't. Right? No, they can't. And the thinker is, okay, it's a 44. It's like an 8, okay? Chaos and conflict is uh, reducing to a 6. This is interesting because 6s are about trying to bring, uh, they're about balance and cooperation and harmony unless they are reversed. But, uh, yeah, chaos and conflict is not about harmony. No, it's not. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius and their person. And uh, let's see, and let's pick up another deck. This is not, this is not working. Let's see what we got for Sagittarius and their person. And let's see. Show me the energy for Sagittarius and their person. Show me the energy for... Sagittarius in that person. Your, your energy is first, Sagittarius. This is how I do it. In the past, you were in the Eight of Cups energy. Okay, but it's in the reverse. This is going back to somebody. Mm -hmm. And your current energy is the Emperor. The block view is the Six of Cups. What you want is the Two of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles is what you are fearing. Okay. So let's get a couple cards from these Energy Oracle cards. Why not? I kind of want to, yeah. I want to spice things up a little bit here. Show me the energy for Sagittarius and their person. And these are new cards. Show me, not cords, cards. Show me the energy for Sagittarius and their person. We have indecision. See, somebody is indecisive. And it makes a lot of sense, right? That's why this thinker card is here. Okay. OMG. So let's see what that's about. All right. Let's see. Could be about a, re, uh, a reunion. The Three of Cups is right here. And your person's past energy is the Six of Swords. The current energy they're in is the Nine of Pentacles. So let's see. It looks like your person left somebody and they're single now. But, you know, these cards are not clarified at all. And uh, I feel like without clarifiers, uh, they are not really... Not every card needs a clarifier. That's true. But I feel like if they are all not clarified, it's not a complete reading. I feel like because one card could, you know... Sometimes we need clarifiers. So let's look in the recent past. It's, it's, it's possible your person left somebody to return to you because, you know, this is how these cards are in, you know, uh, vertically. Is this vertical? I feel like it is, yeah, instead of horizontal. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, you know, the block for your person is a nine of cups. So your person could be really in love with you, the nine of cups for some of you guys. I feel like this is somebody from your past, the Six of Cups. And what your person wants is the Empress. I feel like you're the Empress in this reading, right? I feel like you are. But I feel like already we're talking about some type of a third party or some type of a maybe, okay? But let's have a look here to find out. The Eight of Cups reversed is your energy in the past. The Queen of Wands, that's you. And now we have the Strength card. So either you, I feel like you were, for me, when the strength card shows up is, is because it is like saying somebody needs to have strength. Or maybe they have finally mustered it, right? Because it's kind of like, you know, uh, you know, saying you're, you're doing so great in life, you don't really need to say it, right? I don't know if you guys, right? If you are, you're not really going to say it. You're not going to brag, uh, you know, typically. I feel like maybe you were trying to muster your strength here about returning to somebody, or maybe them returning to you. And there could be a Leo here too. And an Aries. The Emperor is there. That's your current energy. This looks just like uh, like the Scottish uh, guy that I know. Yeah, he's Scottish. It looks just like him, the Emperor. Right? And he has red hair, right? We know Scots sometimes have red hair. It's kind of interesting, right? Scots and Irishmen, things like that. Nine of Swords. You're worried here about an emperor. Maybe it's somebody who's a little older than you. Maybe it's somebody who has a personality of an emperor. Somebody who kind of runs things, like a really strong personality person. And, and 
Let's see the Six of Cups. So in the past, I feel like you were trying to have courage about them coming forward. Right? Yeah. And currently you're worried. Six of Cups is your... Is the block for you? Ace of Wands. Okay, you want a new beginning with somebody, and uh, maybe you are worried. That maybe you are trying to have strength about them leaving somebody else. Sometimes the Eight of Cups reversed is like somebody leaving, like walking away, but it's reversed because they haven't done it right. And you're like thinking, maybe you're trying to. You were trying to have courage here about. Gee, I want my person to leave somebody. It could be. Because the block for you is the Ace of Wands. Like, I'm not getting this. Passionate new beginning. And what you want is a Two of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. And the King of Swords. I feel like you want somebody to decide to move forward with you. You could be at a crossroads, and maybe you want them to make a decision. Look at this card here, indecision, and the thinker card. So, you know, we know here that somebody is indecisive. Yeah, it is. And on the man here, or woman, I feel like, I'm not sure, it could be a woman, right? But on the side are, like, signs that point backwards and signs that point forward. Like, I need to make a choice. Somebody is indecisive here, okay? And they're in chaos and conflict about it. And you, I feel like you, you're hoping they're going to make a decision. I feel like that's it. Unless you have to make the decision to maybe walk away from somebody. But it, does, it looks, it looks uh, switched. The Ace of Pentacles is what you are fearing or doubting. King of Wands, it's you. And the Three of Swords. I feel like you're doubting you're going to have a new, like, uh, a potential for, you know, a long-term situation with somebody. Something solid. Six of Swords is in their recent past. The Queen of Swords and the Three of Cups. For me, your person, they look like they were really kind of thinking about uh, whether or not they were going to leave their person or reunite with you. Wow. Right? With these cards. Six of Swords, Queen of Swords, Three of Cups. Wow. Let me see. Right now, they are in the Nine... And maybe they did. Maybe they maybe they made their mind up. Because they're in the Nine of Pentacles energy, this is uh, a single and alone, but I feel like there's more to this. Ten of Wands, see? <laughs> they're carrying a burden about becoming single. To be with you. Seven of Cups. It's, it's a hard choice. OMG. The Nine of Cups, and this is also wishful thinking on their part, I feel like. So your person is in a union with somebody, but you are the one. Yeah. I'm sure there's a song like that. Any Sagittarians out there? Uh, yeah. How's it go? I forgot. <laughs> Nine of Cups, you guys. This is showing up with the Queen of Pentacles. So your person is probably Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, right? And in the block is... Uh, the Nine of Cups for them. Like the wish, they can't get their wish here, I feel like, unless they leave somebody. Mm -hmm. And you are the wish. Why is that Queen of Pentacles here? And they are your wish too, Sagittarius, for sure. Ace of Wands. You're worried here, and they are like carrying a burden. You're worried that they're not going to come forward, and they're carrying a burden about it. These are two people who really want to be together. All right? Yeah. Major. The Hierophant. This is the block for them. They're married. The Hierophant. Or maybe a Taurus. OMG. But this is pretty clear here. The Empress is what they are desiring with the lovers. This is really to make a choice to have you. I feel like this is really passionate because between you guys. This is passion. Because in the block for you, Sagittarius, is the Ace of Wands. Like, this is a passionate opportunity I want with them in the block. And uh, and you could be fearing heartbreak, Sagittarius, with the Three of Swords showing up right here. I feel like you are you're f fearing you're not going to have this uh, potential with them, right? This life, this new beginning, and you could be fearing here that they're going to break your heart instead. 
You could be afraid here, as I said, maybe they're not going to end a third party here. And there's some type, you might not even be in one. But there's somebody here who wants you, and you want them. And they're married, most likely. So what they desire is the Empress and the Lovers. So with the Empress and their desire, which is about passion and sex and love and desire and abundance and everything fertile and positive in their desire with the lovers and you have the ace of wands here this is ecstasy and passion that's what it is why is that lovers there you could be thinking if, if they don't come forward maybe I'm not going to find somebody like this person you could be thinking that seven of swords reversed I feel like you want them to make a plan here yeah I feel like you want them to get off uh, the fence, the fence of indecision, right? Yeah, here's this lady, right, wearing the red cloak here, and, uh, you know, the signs are backwards and, front and forwards. She has to make, or left or right, she has to make a choice which way to go. You're in chaos of conflict about them making a decision. That's clear. And they're in chaos and conflict because it's a burden for them to become single for whatever reason. Right? I mean, if they're married, that's a, that's a good reason, right? Yeah, it is. And why is the Seven of Swords there for Sagittarius, the Knight of Pentacles? This is the person you want, right? The Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And, uh, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles is in the block for you. So that means that, yeah, this most likely for many of you, this is uh, an Earth sign. And the Four of Cups is showing up. Sagittarius, in, I mean, in their doubts or their fears. So this is what they want, not you. I beg your pardon. I don't know if I said that. They want the empress, the lovers. They want to make a choice. Yeah, but I like lose you guys. They want to make a choice here, and uh, they could be feeling possibly guilt. Mm -hmm. Seven of Swords reversed. Sometimes it can be embarrassment, but I feel like they just want to make a plan here. Yeah, I feel like they want to make a plan here. Seven of Cups, it's a really hard choice to choose you because uh, they have to be single in order to kind of really make that choice or execute it. The Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, this is clear. So in their doubts or fears, that's their doubts, okay, guys? <laughs> I feel like I made that clear. And uh, Temperance, see, that's you. Mm -hmm. they're afraid you're going to reject them four of cups temperance omg mm -hmm. wow smoke signal sagittarius okay can you can you get a plane <laughs> go fly over there have fly over their house okay uh i'll take you back i love you <laughs> hurry up something like that they're fearing things are not going to work out with you guys. Three of Pentacles. OMG. And you're going to reject them. Two of Pentacles. They're going back and forth. Mm-hmm. Your person is of two minds here because they really love you and want to be with you, but they're afraid you're going to reject them. And, I, you know, if they have to walk away from uh, a union or a marriage and they're thinking you're going to reject them, uh, this person is in major chaos and conflict. So you could have been worried about them, but they are in major chaos and conflict. Yeah. So we're going to find out all about your person, Sagittarius. Yes, we are. And we're going to see how they really feel about you, how they are viewing the connection. Yeah, we're going to get confirmation on all this stuff and also what they're willing or unwilling to do for the situation and what they are hiding and their true intentions. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And uh, yeah, they're also affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And see you guys in the next one.